हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी पीडियट्रिक्स पॉइंटर योर रिविजन प्रोग्राम इन दी पीडियट्रिक्स एंड द टूडे टॉपिक इज वस्कुलाइटिस बेसिकली देर आर द क्वेश्चन यू गेट ऑन टू वस्कुलाइटिस वन इज द कावा साकी डिजीज एंड वन इज द हिनॉक शॉलिन परप्यूरा एच एस पी एंड आई हैव जस्ट बेसिकली फॉर्मुलेटेड देयर पॉइंट्स इन अ डिफरेंशिएशन फॉर्म सो दैट इट इज इजी टू रिमेंबर सो इफ यू सी कावा साकी डिजीज it is a medium vessel vasculitis but the hinoch shalin purpura this is a small vessel vasculitis now you should remember which antibodies are present in the kawasaki disease there is presence of anti endothelial antibodies anti endothelial antibodies but in the hsp there is presence of iga antibodies immunoglobulin a antibodies that's why hsp is also called as iga vasculitis this is also called as iga vasculitis this kawasaki disease is mainly seen below 5 years of age so this is seen in children and this is seen below 5 years of age while the age group of hsp is between 3 to 10 years of age that is seen between 3 to 10 years of age in the kawasaki disease there should be presence of fever for at least 5 days the criteria says that there should be fever for at least 5 days which is non responsive to antibiotics that is particularly non responsive to antibiotics but this hsp usually follows respiratory tract infection so if there was fever it is not at the time of presentation fever might be before so this usually follows the respiratory tract infection because in the tract the ig level increases which is deposited in the small vessel now what is the major risk in the kawasaki disease there is risk of coronary artery aneurysm but that is in which phase that is in the subacute phase so there is risk of coronary artery aneurysm in the subacute phase in the case of hsp you are mainly worried about hsp nephritis and this hsp nephritis can be seen up to 6 months after the appearance of purpura in other words urine analysis should be done for how many months after the appearance of purpura in hsp your answer is 6 months then if you particularly see the skin in the kawasaki disease there is polymorphous skin lesion present all over the body multiple type of lesions can be there and you need to remember vesicles and bullous lesions are absent vesicles and bullous lesions are absent and there can even be erythema of the palms and the soles that is the skin involvement if you see the skin involvement in the case of the hsp there is palpable purpura which is present on lower limbs extensor aspect of the upper limbs and the gluteal region and this both particularly becomes is the pressure points this are the pressure points if you say about the platelet count in the kawasaki disease there is thrombocytosis in the subacute phase right but here the platelet count is normal platelet count is normal considering the git involvement git although can rare but can be involved in kawasaki disease and there can be presence of hepatitis and high drops of the gall bladder these are the two things which are present in the git involvement in hsp there is abdominal pain vomiting and blood in the stool may be present unique features of the kawasaki disease that is reactivation of bcg scar which is present particularly on the left arm is reactivation of the bcg scar and according to the iap indian academy of pediatrics it is considered to be virtually pathognomonic of kawasaki disease in the indian children in the indian children if you see particularly here there is oligo articular arthritis oligo articular means four or less than four joints are affected and this mainly involves the knee and ankle how you can remember purpura is mainly present in the lower limbs and it mainly involves the joint of the lower limb knee and ankle if you consider the treatment the treatment of kawasaki is ivig plus aspirin 
IVIG plus aspirin and in this case we are giving glucocorticoids but they are given for HSP nephritis. So you can remember many points of vasculitis just by the differentiation. Additionally in Kawasaki disease these are the four points to be remembered. There is conjectivitis but that is non-exudative. Non-exudative. In the skin I have said no vesicles, no bullus. Here I am saying non-exudative. That means infection is not the cause. There is strawberry tongue. Strawberry tongues which can also be seen in scarlet fever but that will respond to antibiotics. Here it is not responding to antibiotics. There is non-suppurative cervical lymphadenopathy. But the most important point to be remembered this cervical lymphadenopathy is unilateral. The cervical lymphadenopathy is unilateral. Then what is the earliest change seen in the heart? It is not the coronary artery aneurysm. Earliest change seen in the heart is the myocarditis. So just try to summarize between the two vasculitis. If you are liking the series, please do like the series and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.